Hi, friends and family. I just wanted to give you an update on how I'm doing. Um, this past week's been awesome. I shared my testimony on Monday, and it was really special because it was the anniversary of my dad's death. So just kind of remembering him and that. And then later in the week, I shared my teaching, and I did it on renewing the mind. And um, it was really special because I uh, prayed that God would give me a word for each person, and I wrote it out and made like little origami, and people chose, and it actually was like way better than I thought it could possibly be because I was just pulling stuff from scripture and hoping for the best, and they, everyone was crying. It was ridiculous, <laughs> but they were all just super blessed by it. And then um, yesterday we got to do outreach in the township. And we just went outside of Spar, so just like on the other side of this block. And we stopped and talked to a man who was homeless. And he uh, was clearly dealing with a demonic presence. And so we were praying against um, spirits. He was like different colors, meant different things. So he was confused on why I was wearing blue and had a red water bottle and stuff like that. But while we were sitting there, this lady walked by and she was like, hey, why are you sitting on the sidewalk? Uh, she was, uh, I don't know if she was, she's not homeless, but she was uh, um, uh, black and she was very um, poor. So I uh, just said, oh, I'm just sharing about Jesus. And she was like, who's Jesus? And I was like, do you want to find out? And she's like, yes. And I was like, he died for your sins. Do you want him in your heart? And I mean, I explained it more, and she was like, yeah, and so it was like seriously the simplest evangelism ever, and we, anyway, she accepted Christ into her heart, and the Holy Spirit into her heart, and then I just thought telling her how loved she is by Jesus, and how she's my sister, and we're going to uh, be in eternity forever in heaven, and she was just crying the whole time. Her name is Lisbeth, and she had a, her granddaughter, uh, her granddaughter's name is Nadine, and she was just super sweet, and it, yeah, we just sat on the sidewalk for forever, and she kept being like, you can't be my sister because I'm black and you're white, and I was like, I don't see color, I don't see wealth, and she's like, but you're too, like, white people don't sit on the sidewalk, why are you doing this, and I was like, well, I sold everything I had to come here to be with you and to share the love of Jesus, be the hands and feet of Jesus. And um, and she's just crying this whole time. It was super sweet. I mean, she was holding my hand and like pressing her face against my face and just like, I love you. And, um, and just saying like, you know, Jesus didn't come to play golf. He came to sit with the prostitutes and the poor, homeless, um, drug dealers, everyone. And um, so anyway, that my calling is to share that same love with people. And yeah, and then we got to, I, I like picked her up and twirled her around and we were just hugging and she left just so blessed. Um, and then we prayed for the man who, he was still sitting next to me, um, another one of my teammates, she was praying with him. And he said he wanted to cast off uh, demonic oppression. So we prayed against that. and. Um, he was freed and delivered, and it was amazing. He was like, we're like, how do you feel? And he's like, I feel light. And he just smiled for and the only time that I saw him smile. Um, and he smiled several times. And he kept, it kept like being like, but I don't understand why you have this water bottle because it's red. And we were like, no, God made all colors. He is a good God. And he wrote down a verse from Matthew 15 uh, against demonic oppression and I had him write down all the fruits of the spirit and saying that if it's not of these then it's of the enemy and we had given him an apple and he didn't want to eat it because it had red on it and as soon as he wrote down the fruits of the spirit he looked at the apple and just took a huge bite out of it um, and he was just so happy and he was feeling his heart beat for like the first time he was just so happy he had gotten out of prison he was homeless and um, just found the love of Jesus. So it was a really special day and just felt like the purpose of me being here is just to share the love of Jesus with everyone. So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update. I'm doing well and yeah, I'm off my technology free week so I might be able to shoot you a message here or there. All right, I love you guys.